Welcome to another episode of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Roulette. In this series, MBT and I each spin a wheel featuring every secret pack in Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Rule. We then build decks using only 20 of those secret packs before playing a match to determine that episode's winner. The winner of each episode gets to decide if they want the first or second secret pack from the wheel during the next episode, but they must choose before seeing what the second spin lands on. Tune in every Saturday at 5 p.m. Eastern for more episodes of Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Roulette. Welcome to another episode of Master Roulette. This is the 21st episode. In the last episode, I suffered my 10th loss in a row. So uh, we're going to change things up a little bit. I have told Joseph about a couple of these, but uh, not everything. So first off, we are getting... I say a couple, there's only one thing. But uh, <laughs> first off, we are removing the respinning coins, uh, but we are not yep. removing the respins themselves. So for we first We are going place... to be calling them Rank Kid Doodle Do-Over. Oh, right. Yeah, because we're re revamping the system yeah now we are on prank kid doodle do-overs and the thing about doodle do-overs is that you can use them as many times as you want so now going forward the loser from the previous episode will be allowed to respin um, whenever they want to they don't have like a finite amount of that you do still have the same risk as the first place person from the last episode where if you respin a worse pack you do have to keep it but um honestly like we've forgotten that rule a bunch of times or i've forgotten it a bunch of times yeah. so uh, who really cares about it but we still have the respins just not the respin coins the second announcement which mbt does not know about um i have changed accounts uh you know cope all you want but i really think that other account is cursed my polls every week are just so sad they're just i never pull anything from the pack and i just filmed a video on that account and we pulled terrible as well but uh i'm getting rid of that master roulette account or i'm going to stop using it i switched over to a basically new account and we're going to uh, see if that helps at all also i'm going to start like reading that, um... cards what <laughs> I, I do like that. Didn't that uh, person on Twitter like run the numbers on how we'd pulled each time and it turned out you'd pulled completely okay. fine relative? Well, to I will say, I think the one stat missing from there, as cool as I thought that was, by the way, like that was such a cool thing. I think one stat that's missing from the data is how many hollows we pull from the pack and how many we pull from outside the pack. Because I'll have tons of pulls that are hollows from outside the pack, but I think the card quality of the URs and SRs that you pull is a lot higher anyway let's right. spin that i think wheel. they're missing a stat too which is my unbeatable swag <laughs> yeah yeah i think they uh, left the little uh <laughs> that on there oh, we Jesus. have uh for you iron core synthetics which is presumably yeah, is only koaki miru there's like so many uh, of those Koki Miru and Iron Core. Um, ooh, wow. This is a really hard one. The Kokai Mirus uh, do not play well with each other. And Wait, Iron what rarity? Core is a rare. Okay. Hmm. I am wow. It's it's even two. It's Iron Core and Koakai Miru. or it's uh, it's Koakai Miru and chain? um. No. No. Iron Chain. Yeah. Iron Chain. Okay. Um, well, those cards no, are fantastic. It's so. Oh, it's just Koakimira. Got it. <laughs> yeah, this is a no for me. Okay. So it is just that one archetype, though. It's just they don't really work together. Yeah, it's a, it's a one-off pack. Okay. If you pull well, it could go well. Let's spin again. Here's what you're really getting. Artistic. Oh, this is definitely Weather Painters, right? Artistic <gasps> Angel. <laughs> oh, I'm going to lose it. I love Weather Painters. Is it just Weather Painters? Uh, it is Weather Painters and Cupids. And there's like... Is that an archetype? One or two Sulfa Chords. Okay. It's a pretty confused Hey, okay. So that's what you're getting. Um, now, I just have to wonder... Okay, so that pack fucking sucks. Here we go. I'll just spin it again. <laughs> if uh, Diamond Core was like a super, maybe I would have kept it. So I get nice digital bugs in oh, cyberspace. I can't crazy. wait. Is a uh, ladybug in the game? Probably, right? That card's pretty old at this point. I think all the digital bugs. What do you mean support. ladybug? Digital bug, ladybug. That was like a recent-ish edition, I think. Right? There was like a recent-ish digital bug. I don't know. I'll, I'll look into it. I'll look into it. <laughs> oh wait, this is not a pack. What? This is the name of the digital bugs solo mode <gasps> one of the secret pack websites lied to me 
Uh, let me respin. Go then. play the solo mode. Yeah, go play the solo <laughs> mode, and I can play the cards that I unlock. Okay, we'll respin. The digital bugs are in a pack. It is not. This isn't a pack at all, but they're in the Insector pack. But uh, we'll just respin, and I'll take that one off. What a weird one. Yeah. <laughs> Just go. Did I fucking get it again? Okay, I'm, I'm just playing the Insector pack. I'm just playing the Insector digital bug pack. Good luck. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my gosh. 10 packs of Artistic Angel coming up. Uh oh. Oh, I forgot this is the Sulfa Chord pack too. So if we pull enough Sulfa Chords, we might play that, but I think it's unlikely. The problem is this pack is super confused. There's a lot of random shit in it. Like this, all this is just insanely random shit. Oh, that's exactly what I wanted is Crystal Abundance. Yeah, thank you. Aroma Jar is really good. Don't let me forget that. Aurora. That's crazy. Aurora is unbelievable. It's not from the pack. Sure. Thundery, very important. Um, still looking for, like, little guys. I'll take Sunny. I'll take uh, Snowy. I'll take Poo Poo. I'll take Doo Doo. I'll take Wee Wee Poo Poo. Snowy's great. I really do not need the Sulfa Chords here. We're getting all the canvases, but we need the monsters. We're getting all the cupids. We have all the canvases. Two weather rainbow canvases. We found one total weathery monster. Go to waterfront. Take a look at that. Thank you. Snow thunder. Okay, we're getting somewhere here. We're getting somewhere. Hmm. Rain. Can we pick up some more rain, please? Uh, hmm. Two cutia. Are we going to have to play the sulfa chords? Wow, that really is solid. Perhaps. Okay, so here we are, and I do got to say that uh, now that I am looking at the pack, it is not really a digital bug pack. It's not even really an Insector pack fully, but uh, there's only one digital bug card in there, so it's not really a digital bug pack. And then uh, we do have the Insectors, but also we have the Battle Wasp cards and the uh, Cocoon of Ultra Evolution line. So there's a lot of bug support in this pack, and it might be kind of hard to actually make a cohesive deck using all of it, but uh, we'll have to see what it looks like. It's probably going to be like a Battle Wasp Insector strategy if we can pull enough cards for both archetypes but uh, let's get into the pack opening here first 10 packs of insect metamorphosis great that is so many hollows i'm already happy about our decision to uh, <laughs> switch to a new account show me crazy pull okay these kind of sucked um, so the thing about this is that cards like Armor Blast, which you normally would not have played in the TCG, might actually be good in sealed environments, and uh, Sing the Poison is a great pickup as well, although I'm sure we'll get a place that it is only a rare. Well, <laughs> we have missed out on commons before, so maybe I shouldn't say that, but we'll see. Um, Battle Wasp. So while I do have a lot of experience with several Battle Wasp cards, I've never actually played the dedicated archetype, like a real Battle Wasp deck. So, um, oh my gosh, Centipede Hornet? Okay, I think we have a real chance in today's episode. I know I keep saying that, but we're on a new account. We got everything figured out. This is going to be a whole new DZ. Um, yeah, so this archetype sucks. We don't want to pull the Parasite cards. I think we uh, won't be able to build that deck because, like, uh, Ultra Evolution, Cocoon, or whatever is an Ultra Rare. Um, nothing too crazy. I'm pretty sure we already have a place that is staying the poison, which is kind of nuts, though. Inverse Universe is kind of funny, too. That, like, switches the attack and defense value of all cards on the field, I'm pretty sure. Could be fun just to uh, catch them off guard. Uh, Dark Lord, <laughs> Eyes Show. Insector Centipede, though, second copy of that. Another Armor Blast. Yeah, Armor Blast is really big. I feel like this episode could be ours. I don't know. Maybe we can see like a dragonfly. Big pickup though. Really good link three monster. That is a great pickup. Yeah. Insector ladybug as well. And we do have uh, multiple copies of the rank five insector. Not really sure what the rank six is though. Rarity wise. Noble knight. Earth's Arctic. Um, sure. But we do have, I mean, yeah, we got a bunch of these, which is like an okay card. So. 
Nothing too crazy there. Prank Kids Roxy's. That's kind of funny. <laughs> Not that we would play that, but it's there. Final pack, ultra rare. <gasps> oh, okay. So this is the ultra rare. I mean, it's good. It's good. We might summon it, possibly. Insector X Beetle. Not X Cub Beetle. X Z Beetle. But. It's a pretty cool card. I'm not sure how likely we are to make it though, but it's it's playable, definitely. Painters don't mesh well with pen. We'll see. A lot of yellow. We're actually kind of hoping to find like non-yellow ones here, I think, actually. Oleonades, that's a crazy one. Oh, thank God. Third, third thunder, first cloud. That's what I'm talking about. More of that shit, please. Another rain. I will take another rain. Let's make it happen. Another rain, our first sun. Oh my god, is that Red Time Reviver Emit Tur? I've never seen that card in my life. Komashrumo, not bad. Fourth Thunder, did not need that actually. So still need more clouds, would perform more clouds, but I do think weather is still very much on the table. Cloud right there. Oh, hello. One more cloud. Second sun, I'll take that. That's a scary card. That's also a scary card. Huh. That's our playset of Beautia. Wow, this is uh this is very crusty actually. We've pulled pretty good for both Sulfa Cord and Weather Painter. Wow, a second snowy canvas, you're fucking with me. Oh jeez. Ten more packs. Like to see Dragonfly? Oh my gosh. Already, I am seeing we are pulling way more hollows this time around than the previous couple episodes. <laughs> um, Neo Flameville Lady. Okay. Interesting. I think the Battle Wasp cards will be good, though. Just has like a small engine. Maybe a big engine. I don't know. But the synchros are like okay and sealed. Um, sure. Because right now, our Insector lineup is kind of. It's like just Centipede. Oh, this card's actually pretty good. Um, might be Power Crept in this deck, but in other decks, I might have played that. But I think our Insectors are like. We have three centipede. We got a couple ladybugs. I'm pretty sure we have hornet. So uh, we'll need like more cards to play. Oh my gosh, this could be an ultra rare from the pack, or it might not be. It is not. <laughs> okay. Weird set of like two good ultra rares, but just totally unplayable on our deck, unfortunately. Oh my gosh. Okay, here we go. Dragonfly. Dragonfly. Another Exabeetle. <gasps> Dragonfly! Oh my gosh. Okay, so the second copy of Exabeetle is pretty terrible, but Dragonfly is huge because um, Centipede can search it really easily. So you only need one copy of Dragonfly to like really get things going, and we'll have the sword to revive it. Oh my gosh, another Hornet would be huge right here. Fencing Fire Ferret, really big pickup. It's kind of like a hand monster without the special summon effect, but it's still pretty good, I think. Another copy of Ladybug. And Gigamantis. Oh my gosh. Wait, is Sword a common? Have we actually pulled that? Maybe it's not a low rarity card. That might be a super. Hmm. Okay, place it a Ladybug. That's good. Sword is an SR. Oh gosh. So we don't actually have that right now. It's okay. We'll just pull it. Um, yep. Those are all cards I think we had. I didn't realize that the uh, Shinobi is in the set. Two packs left. Final pack. Sword is like the biggest pickup here. Let's see what we got. Felice. Kind of funny. Okay. Okay, that's actually really good too. That is actually very good. Kind of forgot this card existed. I mean, obviously I played in uh, <laughs> Bee Troopers, but I didn't think about it in Insectors. Uh, yeah, I think our deck is going to be decent. Let's get to deck building though, because uh, we got to see how this is going to work together. Uh, this one, um, not so hot. Not going so well, I'm going to be honest with you. We pulled a perfect Weathery Painter core, but unfortunately in TCG, the Weather Painter are supplemented by a series of very powerful um, draw spells and hand traps, which we do not have access to. So we filled the extra space in our 25 card good stuff core with the Sulfa Chords. We're only playing the good ones, Cutia, Fancia, Angelia, Beautia. But we could theoretically brick on those or brick on like weathery rainy canvas and a whole bunch of sulfa chords. Like uh, it's not a consistent deck. And if we draw the wrong half, we're going to lose. But if we draw our 25 weather painters, I don't think there's any way we uh, don't walk with it.
Here we are with our Insector Battle Wasp deck. We are basically maxed out on every single insect monster we pulled, except for Insector Firefly, which we're only playing one copy of because it sucks. But I think this is actually pretty decent. We did pick up three copies of Centipede and Ladybug, as well as like Hopper and the Debris Dragon and Sting and stuff like that. We did not pull more than two copies of Twinbo, and we only pulled one copy of Pin the Bullseye, which kind of sucks. But I think this will be a pretty strong deck against MBT strategy, especially if we can draw those armor blasts which are just like a huge instant win button almost the extra deck also has pretty much every card you could ask for we have all of the insector monsters we have the two main insect link monsters we have pretty much all of the battle wasp synchro cards besides i think the biggest one um, but overall i think our deck is looking pretty good i think mbt's deck could be pretty strong though so we'll have to see how the games go let's get into the duels I'm actually really excited for this week. So this pack was not really a digital bug pack at all. Not even a little bit. So that was one thing I learned. Oh, interesting. So you just got to pick your pack. Hmm. So there is only, and I don't know why, this has to be some of the worst pack design I've ever seen in any pack in Master Duel. There is just one digital bug ultra rare in the pack. No other digital bugs cool that's, that's why epic that you got to get a good pack instead of the digital bug pack and i had to use the pack with 14 different archetypes in you it. were so happy about the weather painter pack do not even start i mean regardless of win or lose it's kind of like the hero pack i'm happy to play it yeah but I, I, it is a confused pack there's a lot going on in it. yeah so flacords and weather painters Ooh, first or second um i'll go second all right Sounds what am good. i gonna do going first the no, same same all right, so I think my deck could be really good if I draw the right half, and if I draw the wrong half, I think I have a 0% win rate. This is going to be the week, I'm sure. Hmm, that is not the right half. Uh -oh. Which half is the right half? I guess I'll find out. Okay, um... No cutie here. Um... I mean, if you open up a Stratos, it seems like you're all set here, actually. <laughs> oh, it says, while you have an even pendulum scale, I thought it said, like, if you have even a pendulum scale out, <laughs> then <laughs> this does uh, this. Uh, okay. Right, I, I'm just going to pass you. You're That's just going to pass. Turn. Okay, maybe this hand can be a little bit better. If I draw, yep, that does make it better. I normal summon Battle Wasp, Sting the Poison. And luckily oh, here... Oh, cool. So you get to play the uh, the deck that you played forever in a TCG. Uh, you... Yeah, so fun fact about that. Fun fact about that. I actually don't really know what the regular Battle Wasp cards do. Um, like, I know what Sting does, and I know what the Debris Dragon... Like, I know how they're used in Bee Troopers, but I don't really know how they're used in, like, this game. I do think, though, I have a fun little combo right here where I go Special Twin Bow. This is looking like a fun little combo. I think so. And then, wait, I could actually do like really funny stuff that doesn't make any sense whatsoever. No, that's that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> I had a really wacky combo, I think, but uh, we'll just summon the ghost bow. And then I will activate this revival swarm to revive twin bow. And then I'll go, why can I use this? Oh, I can't. Hmm. Um, and then I'll go for Battle Wasp. Hama, the Conquering, Conquering Bow. Bow. Yep. Conquering Bow. Yep, that's that's what I, and, uh, oh wait, this sucks. I mean, it's fine, it's fine. It's like 6,000 damage, but it's not anything else. It's a ton, that. yeah. I'm gonna get my ass beat. Wait, are you dead? Comes out, defense. Sure, right? Comes out in defense. Comes out in defense. Oh, I see. I probably should do this. Oh, jeez. Come on, man. I'm just thinking... Wait, what? Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Take that. <laughs> Um, fuck. Okay, I kind of want to do this play, and then... Yeah, that's pretty good. I'll just do this, yeah. So I'll summon Insector, Pico, whatever. Active effect. Yep. 
Um, now, what I'm doing off of this is not really a ton, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'll discard this trap that I put in my deck for some reason. And I guess, like I guess this one, because none of them really do anything else, sure, why not? Oh um, God, okay. And then I'll use this effect to shuffle back three. Yep. Okay. Um, and then graveyard effect uh, until the end of the next, sure. Activate Battle Swarm Graveyard Effect, or whatever the fuck that's called. Target gotcha. this guy. Set this. Uh, go ahead. Okay, Kay. come on. Perfect. Hmm. Okay, uh, let's go the Weather Cloudy Canvas. What is this one? Oh, it halves the current attack. Okay, sure. Normal thundery. Yeah. I will go thundery effect. Yep. Uh, we'll grab. As much as I want to grab Snowy, I, I think I am just too low on life to do it. So, wait. I'm trying to figure out are you saying that the. Weathers are the good half of the deck? <laughs> uh, yes. Okay. Uh, sure. But aren't you about to do some crazy shit right here? Oh, wait. They can't punch with some level one. Okay. okay. Wait, they can only punch with someone. Some four? only fours here. Okay. What the fuck? Okay. If this card is in your hand in graveyard, <gasps> you can target one face of monster on each field. Change into face down defense position if you do special summon this card. Oh, Very I thought it was on one field. No, fuck! I have MBT not game. reading. <laughs> I had this game in the goddamn bag and I threw it. <laughs> Finally, uh, it's okay. my <laughs> time. <laughs> oh shit! Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. I gotta calm down. I've gotta calm down. <laughs> Might be uh, happening. I can't. I legitimately could not lose the game from that position. I feel Man. like I'm so mad. Imagine not reading. Uh, we'll go second. Now you have to give MET a sub. Uh, no, no, no. He cannot farm subs in his own series. <laughs> yeah, that's how it works. Oh, good. I'm legally obligated to give you a sub every time someone in a series misreads something. Oh man. This this might be it. Yeah. Go oh. ahead. I don't know. I think you're going to have some room. Uh, hmm. Um. Mm. Okay. <laughs> how many how many of this uh, Stratos do you have that you've opened both games? Uh, two. Okay, okay, that doesn't make it feel as bad then. Wait, how are you mad about this? This card's terrible. It's a Stratos. Stratos for the worst archetype in the game. It's a Stratos for any card in your. Oh, wait, I actually. What did we play where you, like, destroyed me with Sofla chords? It was. That did happen, yeah. Whatever that was, I think that was just one of the random master pack ones. Um, yeah, ever since then, I just thought the deck was insane. Okay, well, I guess if that's your play, maybe I see where you're coming from a little bit. Um, God, this is the most awkward set of five cards I've ever seen. Well, not really, but for this deck, this is like the most awkward set of five cards in the game. Um, yeah, I'll just flip this deck over yeah. it. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. It's a hand. Hey, we just need one up about forty-five different cards that all do it. That is terrifying. Um, Legitimately, I'm having a hard time like, thinking of a card that doesn't do it. I'm so afraid. I'm just gonna set set. Go ahead. It's fine. Not ideal, but it is good enough. Okay. Um, I didn't even see... Rainy. Yeah. 
snowy. Ooh, uh, yeah. Rain. Okay. Not really sure what this one. Fuck. Oh, what the fuck? Rain sucks ass. Uh, yeah. Yes, she. Yes, she does. Well, it's funny yes, because, like, does. yeah, like you know, you're not gonna see Insectors play Insector Firefly or any of these spells or traps, and I'm not gonna see Weather Painters play fucking Weather Painter Rainy. What did you add to your hand? Oh, this card. Canvas. Yep. Pass. Okay. I draw for turn. Um, yep, that, that has been activated. Are you gonna... Okay. Yeah, I think it's just battle phase attack. Mm -hmm. Rainbow here. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, I would not like to continue the attack. Got it. So let's go armor blast. Um, popping that and I guess this one because the other two can just be chained. Rainy and rainbow. That's fine. Yeah. Well, this is kind of tricky. I don't know. Maybe I should have popped the snowy, but then you just like you can still just banish the snow. I don't know. Go ahead. I think it's possible that regardless of like what I pop there, you just have so much advantage now that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you got two of those, do ya? I did. Okay, that's gonna Ooh, make that's this the worst so draw on our deck actually. Tough for them. There are no pathetic cards in your deck. Uh, yeah, yeah. Snow comes back. Sure. Now, if I remember correctly, the Link monster is a Ultra, so. Maybe you don't have that True. one. Although MBT skills and pack openings <laughs> might say otherwise. Very true, very true. Yeah, so it's just setting one to the field and we go for, sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. That weather painter resource loop. Go. Andre here. Okay. For snowy effect, okay. Mm. Mm. Uh, we'll get rainy here. Rainy. That's the bounce. Yep. And we'll go. Do you uh? Do you just Cloudy. not have the the trap or? <laughs> What? The the DD Warrior Lady one or whatever? Or do you, you just... Oh, the trap. The trap. This trap. Ah, ah okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. There yeah, it yeah, is. Yeah. There it I, is. I do. All right. Uh, you know what? Uh, fuck a pendulum zone. Uh, we, we don't need <laughs> Those cards suck anyway. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, oh, man. It's actually crazy. There's a couple cards here that do things. That is... Um, hmm. <laughs> Dude, this deck is so good. It is sealed environment <laughs> once it gets yeah, going. Yeah, it's all right. Oh and my gosh. I mean, gosh. this is the problem is we have like a 25 card unbeatable weather painter deck. And then there are 15 <laughs> additional cards. My pack did have those, uh, like the parasite cards, which were all like shitty blanks. So that is, you know, it wasn't perfect. Not everything's perfect. Um. Okay. So. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you know, I'll just see what happens. Normal summon insector. Uh, Hopper's fine. Earwig. <laughs> uh, equip insector firefly. Yes. Let's go Armor Blast, um, target Firefly, and I don't know, probably these two. That's crazy, yeah. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kind of figured that would be what was happening. Oh, only... Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, I oh again. okay. <laughs> it All right. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Oh man, I just wanted I mean... to show you that I opened three armor blast <laughs> this yeah. game. That's nuts. <laughs> well, I only opened two of them, but you know, I drew into the third eventually. Now, honestly, like I probably should have saved all of them and tried to go for one big push, but I'm pretty sure I'm just dead <laughs> considering my hand and your field. Yeah, my field's all right. Uh, I think it's actually full now. Dang, yeah. suffering from success. So let's go Thundry, go the Rainy. Go grab so snowy. right now you have what 29 Cycled cloudy 44 um, on board okay yeah. hey uh, now we can go so you just need to put uh, like 2,000 or 1900 more damage on board Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, naturally, right? <laughs> As you would imagine. MBT not pull every ultra in the pack challenge. Impossible. I mean, this one isn't like as impactful as some of the other episodes. Um, but. Uh, oh, do we have a target for this? Well, you have lethal, so I'll probably just uh, yeah. give it a little scoot on over to the. <laughs> Okay, all right. We just got to make that happen one more time, folks. Oh, man. I'm just trying to think if I want to go first or second here. Um, no, I think it just has to be second because I just don't have a play going first. And then you can, like, maybe brick. The final duel. Oh, I don't like this one, buddy. So you can go first. I, don't like it. I, I think so. I think that's the play. Yeah, I bet. All I got to do is pull Snowy. We just have to open I know. Snowy that's why, I like, it's really fly. afraid, right? Really it's like scared. a 35% chance. We've got two of this bad boy. I just got to see playable cards. I just feel like I don't know. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. I feel like these hands aren't indicative of like what the deck looked like. And I'm just so confused right now. Why it's just unable to like draw good cards, but you know maybe this draw off the top will help me out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, what do we got? Literally the worst. Well, oh my gosh! <laughs> Come on. I'm just like, I don't, I'm looking at this hand, I'm thinking of the three ofs in the deck, I'm thinking of the combos that could be had, and I'm just so confused how it's given me this card <laughs> so many times. Um, okay, okay, what are we doing here? What are we doing here? You got like infinite advantage, uh, I got uh, really nothing to, oh god, I'll just set that, <laughs> set this. Go yeah. Ahead. Where are the good cards? <laughs> oh, man. Okay, you're pulling that target. Card I want to talk to him. Once per turn. Oh, so this just makes it so I can't target the spell and traps. Got it. Right. Cool. Or, and that they can't be destroyed. And they can't be destroyed. <laughs> Fuck, man. Okay, I mean, I'll have a few turns here, because <laughs> your deck doesn't, like, kill fast, I guess. And it's not, like, setting up 
an eruptions necessarily just kind of setting up some other you know bad stuff i feel like joseph should be playing japanese to make it fair i don't actually think uh I this particular do game know what these cards do sadly oh yeah well i am that but i was gonna say i don't think this particular game has been determined by any misreads or anything along those lines um i think it's just that weather painters are fucking cracked yeah that's pretty good yeah yeah mm-hmm Yep. Okay. There is a draw here that I think does save us. I think there's actually a few draws that get us to where we're trying to go. So I'm ready for him. Yeah. Not playing around evenly here. <laughs> yeah, in the battle phase. Oh man, it'd be so sweet though, right? Bam, evenly for three. Sink. Yeah, sure. That's the setup. I mean, that's five Speller Trap cards and then three monsters coming back. God, I, I, I'm it's actually, actually four monsters it's been returning. a while since I've been this mad at a deck's draws because I know what it's capable of and it's just drawn earwig after earwig <laughs> after firefly. <laughs> Fuck. Um, yeah, no, that's pretty good. Um, <laughs> oh. you yeah. had the 3-0 chat, but we did do it. Not a bad, you really think you would have won that game one? Oh yeah. Did you have a way to Absolutely. OTK me right there? Oh, I didn't OTK you for absolutely not. We would have just had. Oh, play I had like a crazy crackback. That's why I asked. No, I don't think you would have had that one. Oh, okay. No, I, I had like a good follow up. I think. Allegedly. Okay, all right. Um, now, in terms of cracking this nine card board that you have, uh, I just looking good, buddy. Looking oh, real good. The curse continues, yeah. But I will say, my pulls this time around were quite a bit better, like significantly better. I feel like my deck this time is better than it's been in like five weeks. So mm. I'm actually feeling pretty good about the new account. We'll get you next time, we'll get you next time. Do you even... <laughs> All right, I'm gonna bring out, I'm gonna bring out my ultimate monster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sunny. Okay, so I have I have uh I have three three more losses until I'm at Gage's record, right? Yeah, until I'm tied with it. That is correct. Okay. We got time, we got time. <laughs> we're cool, we're cool. Uh okay, let's go snow. Cloud. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and Aurora. Borealis. <laughs> I'm we get so to go. sad about this one. <laughs> Damn, I lost another week. Man. This? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. Hmm. I hear one copy of Weather Snow is, you know, pretty good, right? Well, it wasn't just that, because you did have the, uh, you had hard, hard drawn the canvas as well, I believe. So it wasn't just a copy. I mean, I'm of playing snow. like 12 canvases. Yeah, fair, fair. GG's, Joseph. GG's. Jeez.